Hi again, this is Marty, and this is going to be the second video of my trip to Kentucky and the Creation Museum and the Ark Encounter and Kudu's Place. And so, um, so anyways, I hope you enjoyed this uh, video of the final video of the two videos I made. And uh, so I want to say bye for now and enjoy the video. See ya. Bye. All right, this is Williamstown. I just got done with one of the services at uh, oh, Williamstown's Baptist Church. And uh, it is pretty sweet. <laughs> they are so nice there. Oh my word. So nice. I'm probably going to take another video on the way um, back. <laughs> but uh, this is Williamstown. Oh wow. There's another Baptist church. <laughs> oh wow. There's the Christian church. That's pretty sweet. I love this. It's like so awesome, this colonial town. I mean, it's just pretty sweet. Man, old houses. I mean, it's pretty amazing like I'm surprised they're still going again or still going them old colonial houses but uh, and I guess this is res residential area might turn around and take video on the way back but uh, this is pretty sweet <laughs> yeah, it looks like I'm just getting into the residential and these old colonial brick houses it's crazy. Well, they know they knew how to build them back then. Yes, the, oh, there's their Harvest uh, Apostolic Church. So, yeah, there it's coming to the And I'm going to turn around and I'm going to go the other way. Give you guys a good look of Williamstown on the way back. So we're heading back. Williamstown again. Yeah, over here, <laughs> the speed limits, I mean, whoo, 
they're just fast over here. It's like 70, 80 miles an hour. Well, not in Williamstown, but uh, on the freeways, woo, it's hopping. <laughs> some beautiful country over here I can tell you that much yeah, I guess ever since the ark has been over here this town has been thriving and business has been good except with this uh, coronavirus going on and um, it's a pretty sweet little town though. I think that's a night church or someone's house. No, it's a funeral home. <laughs> the fire department of Williamstown. I guess uh, front there's a, a Mormon church right there or no that's the church I went into. That's right. So we're getting in the heart of Williamstown, Kentucky. It's a sweet little town. It's like, if you want to take it as, like, hazard, this is almost like hazard, but it's a little different, shaped a little different. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I might go that way, too. I might bring you back around so I can show, show you guys Gosh, look at the old houses. That's crazy. Pretty sweet. Yeah, I might turn it right around and and uh, and head the other way again. There's another street in Williamstown that I want to show you guys. I guess it has like old church house I think or a uh, schoolhouse or something like that but uh, it's pretty sweet here, here in Williamstown so So we're back in Williamstown, and uh, I'm going to turn right here. Oh man, there's a church house. Ah, it's pretty sweet. This church right there. Oh, 
Oh man, there's a grave site. That's pretty sweet. Man, that's a big grave site. Oh my word, dude. Okay, okay. Man, that's pretty sweet. Hope I didn't get in trouble with this for this. I guess this is Williamstown Lake. Oh man, that's a big lake. Holy smokes. <laughs> ah, it's pretty sweet. It's a big lake. Let's see if I can back up here. Go back up. It's a beautiful country here. Man, I would like to ride down this road on my bike. <laughs> yeah, this is pretty sweet. This is the end of the road here. It's pretty sweet though. Yeah, I think this is the end of the road. Yep. Yeah. I'm gonna go back. See you guys. So this, I'm signing off. Bye. Okay, this is. I went the other way last time, last year. Um, I don't know if this goes straight over, but uh, check this out. Last year I went around and around uh, but uh, I guess this takes unless this is a roundabout but uh, check out this bamboo that's crazy oh there's a bird a couple of birds oh, okay so it's a roundabout okay so I guess you gotta go this way And so, 
Sorry about the shakiness. <laughs> but, uh, so this is the creation museum. Check that out. Not much people here today because uh, I guess it's early, but uh, yeah, it's cold up here. This is really, really cool. I'm at the Creation Museum. Yeah, look at that. That's pretty sweet. I'm heading into the main exhibit. Humans, apes, certainly not. The Bible says in Acts 17, 26 that we are one blood. Do we have a common ancestor with apes? Certainly not. In the Bible, we read in Genesis 1, that God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created them. Male and female, he created them. Not the way that the evolutionists and atheists propose. Oh, thank you. Here's where they're talking about the two worldviews about dinosaurs. Did they exist with humans? Yes, they did. The evolutionists would say that they died off millions of years ago, but the Bible says that dinosaurs walked with humans. Was there a worldwide flood? The Bible says in Genesis 7 that there was a worldwide flood, not a local flood.
would say that Jesus is was a great teacher in history and some people will say that he didn't exist but the Bible says in John 1 14 he became flesh and dwelt among us talking about the two worldviews that is in the world today. Evolution and creation. Both of them are religious, but which one is true? The Bible says that creation is true. Bible. Alright, 
So the evidence of Genesis room. This is pretty cool. I wanted to see this. Uh, and even though I've seen it on video uh, with Kim Ham, but uh, it's not like seeing it in real life. It's really cool. But, uh, yeah, that's our foundation right there for the Bible. Look at that. That's all some of the books from Answers in Genesis is uh, up there. This exhibit talks about the beauty of what God did to redeem us from sin. The next slide that you're going to see, it talks about what Christ did on the cross to redeem us from sin. The seven seeds of creation, all the way up to Christ and transformation, and uh, so I'm in the uh, where it starts out where Adam and Eve is in the garden. Yeah, even though I've been here, um, and saw this part right here. It's just awesome to see it again. I guess this is a short person, a short part of it. Um, it's a little bit longer. Adam and Eve sinned against God in Genesis 3. This section is called Corruption, the second sea of creation. Before Adam's sin, there was no venom, but after sin, we see venom. Before Adam's sin, there was no death, but after Adam's sin, we see death and destruction everywhere. Before Adam's sin, there was no disease, 
that will cause death. But after Adam's sin, we see destruction everywhere and disease to, that will cause death. Before Adam's sin, every beast of the earth and every man ate vegetation. But after Adam's sin, we are commanded and our diets changed to eat meat. Before Adam's sin, he can eat all he wants of the trees in the garden. But after Adam's sin, there was disease and Adam had to work for his meal and he had to hunt animals. That's why we see claws on animals. Before Adam's sin, we don't see animals eating each other. But after Adam's sin, we see animals eating each other and death everywhere. And that's why we have supermarkets and restaurants today. We are scavengers. Before Adam's sin, we don't see planets and the cosmos uh, breaking down and falling apart. But after Adam's sin, we see all that happening to our cosmos today. Before Adam's sin, we had no conflict on this earth, not even Adam and Eve. But after Adam's sin, we see in Genesis 3 that Adam blamed God for what he gave to Adam, which is Eve, and he ate of the fruit that Eve gave to him. They both sinned against God, and that's why we see wars and conflict today in our world. Before Adam's sin, there was no poison. But after Adam's sin, we see poison in snakes and other creatures. Just like the platypus duck, it has a toenail that's poison. Before Adam's sin, there was no weeds or thistles or thorns anywhere. But after Adam's sin, we see weeds and thistles and thorns everywhere on plants like uh, a rose bush or anything like that. Before Adam's sin, work was not burdensome. Matter of fact, they didn't have to work for their food. But after Adam's sin, we see that Adam had to work to get food from the ground. Before Adam's sin, there was no suffering. But after Adam's sin, we see pain and suffering everywhere in the world. Here's where we see Eve pregnant with Abel, and Cain is helping his father Adam out in the garden. Hard work, work. Hard work, work. Hard work, that's what they say. Hard work, work. Hard work, I earn my pay. Hard work, work. Hard work, do it every day. Hard work, I get work. up about a quarter to three. Hard work, work. Time to go and earn my pay. Hard work, work. Put my boots on and lace them.
This is Methuselah. This is the third sea of history, which is catastrophe. is a cubit. The biblical cubit is 17.5 to 18 inches. The Ark Encounter was built with the long cubit which is 20.4 inches long. This is why we have a rainbow today. The rain reflects the sun rays and creates a rainbow. This is me in front of a T-Rex skull.
score. Thank you.
at the Creation Museum, I got to see the Fearfully Wonderfully Made exhibit, which I gave money for, and also got the Fearfully and Wonderfully Made video from the note donation of the money.
while I was at the Creation Museum, I got to meet Bodie Hodge. He is the son-in-law of Ken Ham, which he is the president and CEO and co-owner of Answers in Genesis. Protoceratops, they can grow to three foot high and six to ten feet long. This is Archaeopteryx. The evolutionists would say it's a dinosaur, but it's not true. It is just a bird. But what we read in the Bible in Genesis 1, 20 through 23 is birds were created on day five of creation.
historic planetarium projector. This is what they use to find stars and planets in a planetarium. museum I saw two turtles in the pool and I don't know what kind they are it could be a terrapin knowing the east of America or eastern part of America and so hey you hey you hi <laughs> I guess they got the birds inside. There's some donkeys. This is the lights at the Creation Museum, and it's pretty cool. It's a bit cold today. I think it's like 30. Um, feels like 30. I don't know what the temperature is right now, but uh, <laughs> yeah, it's freezing cold here. It's not so bad down at uh, the Ark Encounter. Though so today, I think I woke up, it was like about 40 something. Uh, but uh, yeah, this is the ground. Uh, it's too bad that I won't be able to uh, see Christmas Town, but because uh, they're, they're not open until. Uh, um, Wednesday and Sunday, so yeah, but uh, pretty sweet. That's pretty cool.
that's pretty sweet. Taking off from Cincinnati. from now I'll be in Denver. 